You're listening to Around the Northwest. Now, there's a young, young woman from Bonkrana who is running her own luxury accessories brand that is in big demand. Orla O'Hagan is the creator of Orla Vera Accessories, and they produce luxury leather products and include bags, glasses, cases, scrunchies, and card holders. And the company has a very strong emphasis on sustainability. Uh, but it came about almost by accident. Uh, Orla joins us now on, well, on the show and online as well. We're, we're streaming. So, Orla, good afternoon to you. Hello, how are you? What's crack? Good, all's good. All's good here and all's good with you as well, and especially in the world of business, because this has been this is just over two years. It's re- really taken off. Um, and you know, I had no idea. I mean, explain... Explain to us how it came about initially, how, how it all started for you. Um, so I, I always say like I never meant to start a business and I am so glad now that it happened out, like happened the way it did. Um, but I was like when I was in college, I did footwear and accessories design. So I always had an interest in that kind of thing. And that's where I learned to work, uh, work with leather. We only work with leather here. Mm. Um, and then I was working in a, a luxury design house in London for three years um, on their design team. It was a great experience. I loved it. But when COVID-19 hit, I got made redundant. So I was like 23, made redundant, thought my thought that was it. And, you, didn't, you didn't know um, at that stage what the future held? Okay, I didn't really know what to do. So I thought I'll just come home for a while and apply for jobs back in London and at the time nobody was really hiring a lot of my friends over there was getting laid off and do you know nobody was hiring in that industry so I came home and um I was I was bored hey I was to be honest <laughs> um and I had a sewing machine I bought a sewing machine off my lecture when I was in second year to get better at sewing because we made all our own stuff and um I had a bit of leather left over from uni so I went out to the garage and started to make up bits and pieces for like my mommy and my sister and then that wee brief time where you could actually go to restaurants and go to bars you know like my friends and stuff would take out my bags with them and then it just kind of slowly grew uh, through word of mouth you know oh where'd you get that and uh, Orla made it for me and then it kind of very slowly came in Instagram so I started to post on Instagram then and as soon as I started to do that it just kind of really took off so all of a sudden I was finding suppliers and trying to get on my feet here so it's it's growing organically sorry it's growing organically very organically yeah very organically like really through like word of mouth like local people and then on instagram then it would just kind of all of a sudden it was like okay all of ireland then england then europe then australia america and now we ship like every day well we ship our courier comes here every day to collect but I'd say maybe three times a week we're shipping to America, Australia, all over Europe. So we're we're, we're getting there slowly. And is it is it all is it all online or or do, do, are there um, outlets that stock your products? So I was I had six outlets in Ireland um, that stocked the product all last year, and then in January 2022 I actually pulled out of all the stores because our online business like got such a push over Christmas that it was way more beneficial for us to sell on our own website. So the only places now that you can buy our products is on our own website and in Ashford Castle in County Mayo. So they are the only two places that you can get them. Okay, so uh, not, not a not a bad exclusive stockist. Ashford not, a, not a bad one, no, I have to say. <laughs> and do, do you have any plans for maybe taking control of that aspect and, and opening your own place? Um, not at the minute. I think online is the way to go at the minute for us. You never know in the future, um, but for the next while anyway, it will definitely be all online. Um, we are really lucky here. Like I have myself and two employees um, and we work completely out of the garage at the back of my dad's house. He has like converted it into a full studio workshop for us. So. Um, now we're here six days a week and people mm. call in or you can do click and collect online if you're from Donegal or local instead of like paying shipping because I know people just call in and they want to see them in person. So we're here all the time. Anyone can call in. We're based in Moncrana, just off the main street. Right. 
And when you started to get noticed, um, Michael Henney's got in touch. Michael Henney said, right. yeah. So I was up and running probably in the September of 2020. And um, Michael Henney's got in touch the beginning of December. And they wanted my products on their shop floor for Christmas. And I remember at the time I was, it was just me. So I had taken all these orders on that I was trying to fulfill before Christmas. And I definitely had taken on way too much that I could do. So I was out there like 12 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to get through them. And then people still looking for more. And then Michael Honey's came in and they wanted like 50 bags on the shop floor. And I mm -hmm. nearly had to be worked with, I, but I couldn't turn it down. So. Um, I'm really lucky. I had like my friends, my family, all out helping me, trying to fill the orders and get it all done. But we got it all done, and now Michael Honey sold out that Christmas. So they were they were our main stock list. Um, they were so so good to us starting off, and be forever thankful to Amanda and the team up there. So there's now the, the three of you. There, your cousin is that right? And then, yeah. So my uh, wee cousin Claire uh, actually did her. My cousin Claire actually did her um, transition year work experience with me. Um, and then I just ended up keeping her on because she's great. And then last year I was looking for someone who could sew and Emer got in contact. She's an LAT doing fashion um, and she was looking for experience sewing. So it was like a match made in heaven. I was so delighted to get her in and she's here today actually working away. <laughs> um, so now we're, we're getting on. And when you came back from England, I mean, your original plan was just to come home for a wee while at the start of the, the lockdown and then go back again. But now now you're at home, um, uh, well established, and the business continuing to grow and you're, you're, you're working from a converted garage. Could you ever see yourself in in England or, or moving back? Is, is this, you know, are, are you happy with where you are? Well, like I originally came home, I'm not, even lying like I honestly thought I was coming home for two weeks <laughs> and I thought, I thought I'd come home apply for another job and just go again um things worked out so differently and I'm so glad they did yeah. and like I think as well when you are creative and want to work in a creative industry in Ireland there isn't that there isn't that much on offer for like people like me who's like look you know looking to start out so now in Donegal there is a massive creative hub and like I see it going all the time but I, at the minute now I'm definitely well actually I can't really see myself going back to England now um I have a great but setup here but you have so much so. yeah you have so much control because you're working from home and it's it's pretty much all through your your own website and you've in, increased the range of products as well as so though it started off with bags but now it's it's grown it has definitely grown and earlier this year we launched our bridal range and that was just a bit of a gamble because I was getting a few brides and bridesmaids messaging me looking for white bags that they could use from their hand parties to the day of the wedding to hold their stuff to the night after the wedding to then bring on their honeymoon. So it was kind of like a one bag that did it all. Um, so I was getting a lot of that. So. I reached out to my supplier looking for recycled like white leather that was really good quality and we worked out like a really good deal where I was getting like the offcuts of mulberry stock which so is really offcuts off you use so off I use I use like mulberry my contracts are with mulberry Rolls Royce and BMW so all of the leather that I'm getting is their dead stock that would otherwise be destroyed so I right. buy that off them so it's saving. I just have, you have to think about it. Like one leather skin could be one full cow that's getting destroyed. So mm -hmm. when we take that, then you're like you're reducing your carbon footprint by buying accessories from us rather than accessories from the high street. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. But our bridal range has massively grown now this summer. We're so proud of it. Um. We've got lo loads of brides this summer that are using their recycled bags, which is so nice to see. Mm. Well, it, it, it's great because it's, uh, I mean, it's from a sustainability point of view, it, it's brilliant in that you, you're using leather that may otherwise be destroyed. The big companies will just use it for, you know, whatever it is, uh, uh, seats or, or clothing. Uh, and you, uh, you, on the other hand, are making really good use of it, obviously. And continued success here. Uh, where can people, what's, what's the website? What's the address of the website? 
Um, so the website is orlaveraaccessories.com and our Instagram and Facebook is Orla Vera Accessories. So you can get us anywhere there. Well, where did the Vera come from? That's actually my middle name. Okay. Uh, brilliant. So, got, a, got a great ring to it uh, as a, for a business name as well. Thank you very right. much. Well, listen, uh, the best luck to you, uh, to all three of you, in fact, and uh, continued success. And, and it's, it's a great story. So, uh, well, thanks so much for joining us. Michelle. Thanks very much, John. Thank you. Bye.